Now, the journey to fatherhood has taken over three years with euphoric highs and heartbreaking lows along the way. But now, Made in Chelsea's Ollie and Gareth finally have the family of their dreams and they join us now this morning with baby Apollo and Apollo. Is it, it's Co Cosima. 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 Yeah. But you, you've shortened that, haven't well, it's you? It's cosy or cosy, it's, yeah. it's anything, oh, darling, it's whatever <laughs> you want. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank Firstly, you very much. Like we say, um, this, this beautiful new chapter has just started for you. But to get to this point, there have been lots of emotional highs and lows. It, it hasn't been easy, like it is for, for many, many people. Absolutely. Yeah. But, but you had a... lots of moments where you thought, is this going to happen? Yeah, it's been over three years. And actually, the last, the last time we went through, um, our surrogate went through miscarriage, we, um, I literally thought to myself, maybe this just isn't going to happen for mm. us. And it, it really just... Nothing makes you feel more determined and more that show you how much you want it than having gone through what we've gone through the last mm -hmm. three, four years. It has been extraordinary, I must admit. It's, it's been a, a real whirlwind and it's amazing. Once that happens, you become a class of a community where you're talking about fertility. Mm -hmm. That's something that you realise how many people are around you and the community you're in and it's actually quite an amazing community of people. Yeah, very much. Well, we have to give a big shout out to Bex. Absolutely. I'll let Huge. you explain the story with Bex and how it came to be. So Bex was our surrogate and is still a very good friend. She came down with her kids last weekend and is coming down in a couple of weeks time again. Uh, she's not the biological mother, but she, um, but she carried them for all the time. But she's become an awfully close friend to us because she's just been, to do something like this, especially with twins, has been an extraordinary we, you just go through so much with each other. Like you have to obviously, it's it's a really long process in terms of like making sure that everything is right. So you go through therapy with them, you go through absolutely everything, and then you meet their family. You have to spend. We spent like a year with her before mm. we even started the process. She contacted us because she wanted to do this for someone. That was the most important thing. It wasn't. You're not allowed to reach out to people to say, "Oh, you would do it." Kind of thing like that. Um, in Britain, not. She asked a that. couple of family members and things like that, she but they, they, they'd been able to conceive on their own. And then she reached out to us and. Honestly, I don't think we could have found anyone better. She, she was a real family. Mm. Yeah. Time. Well, she's provided an incredible gift to you. Sadly, she didn't just live around the corner. No. <laughs> she's at North East England. Yes. And you then got a call to say, ah, I'm feeling a few aches and pains. I thought, yeah. I thought it was Braxton Hicks. Uh, and I, I think I, she thought it was Braxton Hicks. Well, she did as well. And the whole time, Oz was like, it could be early, it could be early. And in my mind, I'm like, nope, it's coming on this date. We've been told this. We've got a great consultant. We're being told this. It's coming on the date. So we were out and about, I get this call. And in my mind, it's not happening, not happening, not happening. But half an hour we get back, later, we get back to the house. We're like, she's in labour. She's five <gasps> centimetres dilated. She's got, just got to the hospital. And then she's up in Durham. Within an hour, she was 10 centimetres dilated and she had a C-section mm. fairly quickly. We got on the train at King's Cross at 6... It left at 6.30. 6 and and she... then she was born at 6.30, he was born at 6.28. Oh, my God. They were not hanging around. No, they they, they no. wanted to die. But you did have to stay in hospital, obviously, for... It was before yeah. weeks, wasn't it? Just to yeah, sort of just make sure they were OK, get them up to the proper weight or whatever was They were all stable. pretty perfect. They just needed some... A bit of extra help. Yeah. They wanted to come out and they, they progressed so quickly and so wonderfully, but they did come out at 31 weeks, which is obviously very early. But we were in with them every day and they were just amazing and they I'm, were just fighters. Yeah, I must say, like this, the, the ladies and the, the men in um, the NICU units were absolutely incredible. It was like an intense, like neonatal course, learning from these people who are just absolutely incredible at their job and such caring people. Mm -hmm. and I promise you that wasn't me that just farted if we heard that. No. Thing. That's yeah. very much her. She's a bit constipated. Well, we, we were all thinking that. I'm glad you cleared it up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> good girl. She's doing very good. <laughs> and there's a lovely meaning behind both of their names, isn't there? Yeah. So, well, they, so the middle name for him, Magnus, is my mum's Margaret. My dad used to nickname my mum Maggie. So I wanted to like, touch point on that. So I was like, for a boy, because we thought we're only having a boy. So I'd set her on having him Apollo Magnus. So I can give him the nickname Maggie. Oh. So he's Apollo Magnus Obi, and she's, yeah. she's Cosima Emily Bex, after my great friend, Emily Hartridge, who died on a scooter a couple of years ago. And her sister and sisters and, and boyfriend came in on, sat on this sofa after she had died. And, and that's just to keep her remembered a bit. Yes, yes, and that's a lovely, a lovely And Bex, obviously. Yeah, Bex, yes, so of course, Bex. 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 Because there's amazing things she's done for us. How has it been going, though? Who's up during the night? Who's doing the, all of the, the nappy bit? Who's sort of like... It, they are you... up during the night. <laughs> <laughs> they are up, yeah, they're up, yeah. They are, they're, they're night owls. The best thing about having twins is that there is, luckily with us, there are there is two of us. So we have taken charge of, of each baby kind of thing. Well, they, that's, that's they have happens. their routine and we've got these pods next to our bed. 
So he's on my side and she's on your side. And if you switch them around, it changes their routine. So that really throws them out. What makes life slightly more difficult is we're filming this entire thing for our YouTube series, our Daddy Diaries. And so where on Made in Chelsea, you would have loads of bits and pieces, but it would all be kind of, the scenes would all be, this is very raw. And so we, the other day we woke up and there were cameras in our faces. There was fixed rig, almost like Big Brother uh, in our bedroom. Oh, I'm not um, sure I could have dealt with that. There's enough stress with this. It, it, uh, it, trust me, the last couple of weeks has been bloody testing for me. <laughs> it's been something, yes. Um, but yeah, it's, he's getting better now. He's got a bit of a routine. I mean, I say that. The last two nights have been good. Tonight will probably be completely out the window and she's just playing catch up. Who knows? They're twins and they're fabulous Absolutely. and they're here. It's and... literally day by day, isn't yeah. it? And I, I, I've said that still and my little girl's four, so <laughs> I, I don't think I've progressed still. <laughs> <laughs> um, you both are obviously so synonymous with Made in Chelsea. Does mm. this potentially warrant a move away from Chelsea now that the family's growing? You maybe need a bit more space? I think, no. We're, we're, <laughs> we certainly want to stay in central London for a bit. Um, we'll see what happens in the next couple of years. Again, this is we don't know what's going to happen but next But no more Made in in Chelsea. No, no more made no, in Chelsea no, for us. No, We're doing our daddy diaries I, and that's our own show and that's something that we've got on an exclusive with YouTube. And I just don't know we would fit into Chelsea now. We're we married with kids and all of that. It's about making up and breaking up. I did yeah. 13 years you on know. that show. I know. And so oh I was there from the very, very beginning. I was one of the first people to ever say a line on that show. I, I remember it. I watched and it. I remember reading once how you said um, you started a made in Chelsea. You had long hair and a girlfriend and now you've <laughs> left with husband and twins. There you go. I mean, that just shows sure, you yeah. what third. That's what shows you the years <laughs> and made in Chelsea. That adolescence in the 20s. <laughs> that is a I was just sorting myself out, I think, during those times. But it was well, wonderful. You, I don't regret a thing. You very much got to where you want to be. And they're, they're I can't take my eyes off them. And they're so, just so beautiful and tiny and gorgeous. And look, there's little smiles happening and all Brit. sorts there. We're getting some smiles. We're, they're we're just getting lots of, adorable. It might be constipation. It might be constipation, but that's all. They right. are. It is yeah. amazing. With everyone yeah, in the studio yeah. loves them. <laughs> oh, I remember those moments. <laughs> Who <laughs> chat's been a regular thing now. That's oh, exactly I life changed an awful lot. In does. my notes on my phone, it's just basically bowel movements <laughs> for the babies. Not, not <laughs> yeah, I mean, weird if it's yours. Yeah. I know. And you look back to your life 10 years before and you think, my goodness, I never thought this would excite me now, uh, but it does. Yeah, I know. It's definitely um, <laughs> oh, a glass of wine tastes very different at the I end know, of the night. I sent you I a know. text. I sent you a text yesterday saying we, we have poop. Yeah, you did. That well, is speaking of which, before so I let you go, we have got you a little... Oh, darling. It's actually uh, sparkly stuff. We'll give you that as that, a little, oh, a little thing. Needed. And we've got you little baby grows. Oh, thank you so much. In a special right. Lorraine bag. I hope they've got yours <laughs> and Lorraine's face on them. I think that would just be fabulous. <laughs> Lorraine's face isn't on them. Mine is. No, just I'm joking. Make, <laughs> just to make it as camp as possible, let's get Lorraine's face on them. That, that's yeah. amazing. Uh, <laughs> I honestly couldn't feel happier for the two of you. It's wonderful. And congratulations. They are just beautiful. I've tried to whisper a little bit during that. Um, it, it seems to have done the job. Yeah, they're, they're, they're super <laughs> chilled, aren't you? You just had very, lots of milk before chilled. you came on.